Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the Daily Challenge for October 28th, 2022. The character of the Ironclad and the mod first are shiny. Starting deck is replaced with one of every rare card. Time dilation, all enemies start with the slow debuff. And binary, card rewards contain only two cards. So yeah, binary is always difficult, but let's see how what we can do here. I see George with 1327, Pell 1302 and Vorpal 1302 as well. Pretty good scores already. Let's do the scores from yesterday. So a uh, very large variability, nobody that I know on the top 20. Um, but then here, Monkey Bone and David. Yeah, so David got 1692, and David actually uh, streamed his run yesterday. So check out uh, the comment on yesterday's video with the link to his Twitch channel. Um, so uh, and and just just as a tip, David, uh, the your volume was very low, like your your speaking volume. The game volume was very loud. So especially with the dramatic music, it's it was very difficult to hear you. Uh, but definitely check out his stream. So he was able to perfect seven out of the eleven elites, uh, three out of the three bosses, got six collector bonuses, which I I thought was very impressive. I think that's the most collector bonus anybody gotten uh yeah so pretty good uh went for pandora's box as well as the black star which are the two relics i considered but didn't take and thanks to black star um both david and as well as a bunch of others were able to get the Alex like, shiny modifier which i missed um so that's definitely something i could have considered um and then uh was able to get the combo modifier and generally went for a focus deck so pretty good run again check out a stream uh comment is on the yesterday's video video uh, Monkey Bone with 1678, and then a few others there. Um, there's Francisco, 1653, Chef in a Cloud, 1628, uh, Miriam Gaming with 1626, and then Zombie Panda, 1599, and Steven, 1597. Um, so I would have been able to get 1601 if I had perfected everything and gotten some extra modifiers, but that was obviously very difficult to do. Uh, Amildam with 1591, pretty good score, 67, 62nd place. Um, and then I saw Pelts here, yep, 1578. Also not bad. Um, further down, there is uh, Malazan with 1524. Uh, here, Bob Trombone. Uh, so Malazan went, was able to only perfect one of the bosses. Um, and then interestingly went for a bottled reprogram, which I hadn't considered. And this is very interesting. So David went for a focus deck. Um, and a few others like Rado also went for like an orb deck. But Malazan went the other way, um, removing focus and using a reprogram. And was reasonably successful. I got three collective bonuses, including one on the curse. Um, and then, uh, yeah, skip the first shop, which is something that I had considered in retrospect might have changed the outcome quite a bit because I had a lot of shops and I wasn't able to afford a lot of items in them. If I had skipped some shops, I might have been able to afford more things at other shops. So that, that is something I should have considered. Um, so yeah, pretty good score there. Um, and then a few other scores, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, Rado got a 1491, uh, was able to perfect also only one boss, got four collector bonuses and went for an orb deck. Vinny got 1446 with one collector bonuses, but two perfected elites. Um, I had 401, let's see where I landed, yeah, 200th place, that, I mean, yeah, can't, can't really expect more than that, wasn't that great run for me yesterday. And then um, Jim got 1430, was able to uh, perfect five elites, but no, none of the bosses and got four collector bonuses. And then also interestingly, Adam on the Xbox, uh, pointed out that yesterday, um, there was a flight modifier on steam, but on Xbox, there's a green cards modifier. So, but everything else was pretty similar, but, uh, Adam himself wasn't super successful yesterday. Um, all right. Yeah. Yesterday was a lot of fun. I just, I wish I had done a better score, uh, had done a better, uh, to run overall so uh, again check out david's um, comment oh and then i should mention Olay pointed out that um i could have had i should have been able to easily perfect the uh, gremlin leader i just completely missed that uh, should have taken go for the ice so thanks for that um tip and then also there's a discussion uh, both with Olay and david about shops versus elites so um david skipped one of the last elites to go for a collector bonus but uh, you have to remember that perfecting an elite is 25 points fighting an elite is another 30 points so theoretically, if I had gone for the shop and removed the uh, rare card, I would have been able to get Popper for 50 points, but I would have potentially missed 55 points. Um, so it wasn't super smart for me. But in retrospect, there was a chance to get collector bonuses, especially with Courier at the last shop. So I think both David and Ole had the right idea of, of trying to go for that shop and hoping for uh, collector bonuses and getting Popper in the end. Anyway, let's move on to today's run. So shiny, time dilation, and binary. So just to review the shiny deck for the Ironclad, Feed is something I want to play all the time. Impervious is the only defensive cards, really. And then Offering will help with card draw. So I will try to pick up as many defensive cards as I can. Oof, unfortunately, one elite path. So if I go on the far left, I'll get oh, just two question mark rooms. 
Second from the left, at least it's four question mark rooms. Middle is six question mark rooms. That's pretty good. And then rightmost is only four again. All right, so I'll go in the middle. And the ironclad has a great way to get rid of curses. So I will try to go for curses if I can. I think I'm going to do corruption here. That will make it a little easier to play other skills. And then I could do berserk and hope I draw the impervious next turn. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. I got lucky there with the impervious. Fiendfire won't kill, but I don't actually I can do barricade. Yeah, let's do barricade impervious because that way I can hang on to my block for longer. And I do want to get back to the feet. I can't do limit break. Is there anything I need to exhume? Actually, I can exhume an impervious again. Yeah, let's do that. And then do emulate. Um, I should have probably done juggernaut first, right? Let's get rid of this. Do jugger uh, juggernaut and then emulate. Okay. Unfortunately, the feed is not going to be enough just yet. And bludgeon will kill. Great. Um, what I do? All right, let's do demon form and just wait. I'm hoping that with the strength and the slow debuff, I'll be able to play the feed here. Actually, no, I can double tap the feed. Good. Okay. All right, we got a weakness potion, wild strike, infernal blade. I need defensive cards, so I don't really need wild strike. Let's take the infernal blade. And then I don't need to heal. And I also don't think I need to remove anything. So let's skip and hold the gold for the next shop. Upgrade a card. Okay. Lots of good options. Upgrading the offering seems like a good idea. An early feed upgrade might be nice too. Um, yeah, let me go with the offering first. I think that's a safe pick. Okay. All right. Got the Elise here. I think I'm going to try to do... It is early on. So I'm going to try to feed and then exhume the feed again. Let's start with offering. All right. Yep. There's the feed. Actually, I can kill. Well, I can't defend, right? Yeah, fine. Let's kill you. And then I'll do, I don't think I'll do Berserk here. Actually, no, I'm likely to draw the, yeah, let's do Berserk and Corruption. And that's it. I'm likely to draw the uh, Impervious next turn, or I'm likely to not be attacked, or I can just bring back the feed. Awesome. All right. Um, he, uh, Headbutt or Thunderclap. Again, not a huge fan, but let's take the Headbutt. That might allow me to get something back like the impervious and then here i got some gold for hp and lagavulin is perfect because i can play all my powers should i do corruption first or barricade first let's do barricade first okay that way if i get the impervious i can play it and not worry about losing uh losing the energy uh let's do berserk here and then demon form okay mm -hmm. And then here, okay, so the impervious is next turn. Actually, I can draw it this turn with the offering, right? Yeah, let's do offering. And then I can do, ooh, should I do Fiendfire? If I do Fiendfire, I'm not left with a lot of cards other than Bludgeon, but it might be a good idea. Now, I would like to use the feed, although that will be difficult, right? Let's start with impervious. I kind of want to do Fiendfire. Yeah, let's do emulate and then Fiendfire. Okay. All right, fine. It's a lot of damage. Actually, I can exhume the feed if I really wanted to. Should I exhume the feed? Um. Hang on. I still have an emulating bird in my deck. Uh, let's. Yeah, you know what? Let's exhume the feed. All right, and then I'll see what the infernal blade gives me. That's blood for. Ooh, blood for blood will kill. So I, if I do headbutt. And then feed, that's enough to kill. Awesome. All right, perfect. This one and got max HP. We got back of preparation. At the start of each combat, there are two additional cards. An attack potion. And I can't... Wait, do I want to take rare cards? No. Well, hang on. There's no reason to go for Highlander, right? Binary might make it, make it difficult to get a lot of collective bonuses. Actually, ah, this is tough. All right, let me, let me try to go for Highlander. So I'm not going to take any of these. Mm, I hope that's the right decision. All right, next upgrade should... Probably be Barricade to make it a little easier to play, or Impervious, or even Berserk, or Feed. Lots of options here. Let's go with the Feed, sure. Get a little bit more max HP, especially early on. On Act 1, I can use Feed much more often than on the other Acts. Okay, so both are attacking me. Uh, let's see what the Infernal Blade gives me. Wild Strike. I don't want to kill, so I'm actually okay taking some damage. Although, wait, this is 26. If I do double tap, it might kill. Let's just do Brutality and one Wild Strike. Okay. All right, and then I was hoping to use a feed. Should I do Offering? Yeah, fine, let's do Offering. 
All right, yep, there's the feed. Kill you that way. Okay. And then I could do Berserk. Actually, wait, I can headbutt the exhume, right? Yeah, that way, next turn, I can just... Uh, yeah, let's do Berserk. Next turn, I can just exhume the feed. Mm -hmm. Exhume the feed and then kill. Good. All right, 100 max HP already. Pummel Strike seeing red. Let's go with the Pummel Strike for extra card draw. I am seriously worried about block. And have the Guardian at the end too, right? That might be annoying. We got Ancient T set. One of the enter rest sites are next going with two extra energy. And then I don't think I need to rest again. I think I can just do a regular fight. All right, Fungi Beasts. Let's do... I, I guess I can do Offering, right? Uh, wait, I need to play one more card here. Let's do Inferno Blade, Anger, then Offering. Okay. And then I didn't get either Exhume or Feed. I guess I can do Pummel Strike or Reaper. Yeah, sure, why not? I can double tap. Well, if I double tap the Reaper, it'll kill the Backliner. Let's just do one Reaper here. Okay. And then uh, I guess I can... Is there anything I need to headbutt? Not really. I think I'll just wait here. Okay. I'll take six damage, but I can kill the Backliner easily with the Feed. And I could kill this guy. Actually, wait. Yeah, I can't feed, exhume the feed. But I think what I can do is I can feed, then exhume the feed, and then just not play it and wait because this is, yeah, only 14. Yeah, it's fine. I'll take a little bit more damage. At another 13. There's the Impervious. Uh, let's do that. I should also deal some damage so that the feed can easily kill next turn. Okay. All right. I'll just wait. Hmm. And there's the feed. Good. Okay, we got a Snake Oil Potion, Twin Strike, Shockwave. I'll take the Shockwave for the weakness. I'm really worried about the upcoming boss fight. Got the Brutality and Juggernaut upgrade. The Brutality upgrade is, is pretty good. And then next upgrade, I think it should be the Impervious. Yeah, I'm very worried. And then I think before the boss, I'll upgrade the Beer Kit as well. Um, yeah, let's go for the shop so I can go for the next question mark room. Mama Pad Hand would be pretty powerful, but I think I should focus on block cards. Feel no pain. See, I'm one gold short from being able to take both Mama Pad Hand and feel no pain. I don't feel I have an energy problem. Do I? I don't think so. So I think... Uh, this is tough. I do exhaust a lot. I think feel no pain is very important. Let's take it. And then, yeah, I'm one gold short from Mummified Hand. If that's the case, then I think what I'll do is I'll take Sling of Kur... Or should I do Vajra? Let's do Vajra, so I just come with one strength. Yep. And then I'll take the Armaments. And, wow, I can't afford one of the potions either. All right, fine. I think it's okay. Armaments is a solid defensive card. Uh, Gouged and Trampled by a Horn Police. I'm pretty sure that's the Leg of right? No, Grumman Horn. Ah, Grumman Knob. I forget. I, I think I messed that up last time, too. Uh, Lagavulin was eviscerated, right? And then the uh, the sentries are, are burned or something. All right, fine. This one doesn't count against my perfect, so I'm totally okay losing some HP here. Let's do Corruption. I'll upgrade the Feel No Pain now that I have Corruption active. Uh, let's play the feed so I can... Here, I'll do Brutality. Actually, no, I can headbutt the feed, rather. Let's do Pummel Strike and then Berserk. Okay. All right, 21 incoming. I have the Impervious here. That's great. Uh, yeah, let's do Impervious, and then uh, Bludgeon. No, Offering first. Headbutt is at the bottom, right? Yeah, all right, fine. So then I'll do... I could do Barricade. Yeah, let's do Barricade, hang on to the block, and then I'll do Bludgeon. Actually, with Shockwave, Bludgeon would kill, so let's not do that. Instead, I'll do Bludgeon, and then Shockwave. All right? So that way, next turn... Um, yeah, I should be able to play the headbutt, get the limit break back, and then should be able to kill that way. Oh no, I messed up. I completely forgot I was going to reshuffle. Alright, well, that was a mistake on my part. Uh, let's do Juggernaut, Infernal Blade, and then Uppercut would kill, right? So I have to wait. Okay. Another 10, luckily there's a feed, and that's enough to kill. Good. Okay, we got Pentagraph at the Star Boss Combat, heal 25 HP. And then True Grid is a solid defensive card. I wouldn't mind upgrading that. Should I upgrade that or should I upgrade the the Barricade? No, I think I'll go with the True Grid first. Okay. All right, I need a Barricade as early as possible here. Um, well, let's definitely do Brutality. Should I do Shockwave? Let me see what the Pummel Strike gives me first. Okay, so I think I'm going to upgrade the Shockwave and then do the Sneko Oil Potion. 
Alright, I got a free Shockwave, that's great. A free Feel No Pain, that's also awesome. And Barricade. Probably should have flipped the order there a little bit. I could do Fiend Fire. Not a huge fan of any of these. That will give me a lot of block too. Anything I need to exhume. I can exhume another Shockwave. Or actually, let's exhume Infernal Blade. Okay, alright. Well, that's a lot of Fiend Fires. Alright, let's do that. That's a lot of damage too. Okay. Alright, awesome. And now I have a bunch of block and I have the Barricade. Okay, that's Neko Oil Potion was... Uh, well, I got really lucky, admittedly. Okay, so let's do the Offering here. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do Impervious. I should have done Corruption, probably. Yeah, let's do that first. And then, uh, yeah, sure, let's do Limit Break. I don't think I'll do Double Tap. Do I need to? You know what? Let me True Grid the Demon Form. That's definitely going to be hard to play. Okay. All right. And then here I can Double Tap and Kill with the Bludgeon. Do I want to be really annoying and try to feed here? I could. Actually, I only have five cards, right? Yeah, fine. Let's do Bludgeon. Actually, I'm going to Armaments the Bludgeon. Play that. All right. And then next turn, I should be able to kill with the feed. Well, double tap the feed, really. All right, awesome. Okay, perfect this one and fed too. Let's see, we got a fire push in. And yeah, I'm going to skip this one, trying to go for popper. Or not for popper, for the Highlander modifier. I don't think I'll take Empty Cage or Runic Pyramid. Runic Pyramid would make feed fire really powerful. Ooh, this is tempting. The other choice is, of course, Saker Bark. That's a pretty safe choice. But Runic Pyramid would allow me... I mean, I don't really need to feed anymore. I already fed enough. That, that was the other thing, too. That way I can keep the feed. I can also keep things like Impervious. The problem is going to be energy, right? Yeah, if I play a Barricade, I won't be able to play anything else. So my hand is going to get full very quickly. Oh, this is very tempting. But I think I'll try it. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. Let's go for that. Okay. Mostly I'm hoping to keep the Impervious for the right turn. Or, or really the Fiendfire. Again, only one elite. That's a bummer. All right. So if I go in the far left, I'll get one, two, three, four question mark rooms. Second from the left gives me one extra one, right? Yep, five. Second from the right gives me one, two, three, four, five as well. And furthest on the right just gives me four. No, also five. Okay. All the paths are similar. All right. I think if I go in the middle or left, I'll get an extra shop. Right, so on the right side, I don't have any shops, which is probably fine. I don't think I need shops. Yeah, let me make sure. On the right side, I only get one rest side. On the left side, I'd get more than one. Yeah, let's let's start on the left and then turn right. All right. So 12 incoming. Let's do Feel No Pain. Offering. Uh, I'll do Brutality, sure. Mm -hmm. And then here, I could do Barricade. But then I would have tr trouble defending. Let's do Shockwave instead. And then I can exhume something, or I can just do emulate. Let's do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here I think. Wait, a feed, yeah, feed fire is enough. I don't think I need to feed anymore. Let's just kill. All right. Okay, clash headbutt. I already have headbutt. I don't really want clash. Yeah, let's skip this one. Okay. I got the birds here. Emulate is good, but then I'll still take some damage. Fiendfire is also fine. Let me do... Let's see what the Infernal Blade gives me first. Actually, I could do Corruption too, right? No, let's do Infernal Blade. Heavy Blade. All right, that's a bummer. Um, all right, let's do Brutality. I'll do Emulate. I'll just accept the damage. I think that's fine. I can't kill anybody, right? All right. I don't think I'll do Berserk because then I'll take 10 extra damage. I can play it next turn. Hmm. All right. Um, here... I think I need to zoom, not really. Let's kill the backliner with the headbutt. And then I'll get an emulate back. And then, you know what? Why don't I exhume the infernal blade here? All right, twin strike. You know what? If I do offering, I'll take six damage, but that way I should be able to actually kill with a feed. Awesome. And then, wait, did I already exhume? Yeah, I did already exhume. So I'll true grit the berserk because I don't think I'll need it. And then here, I can double tap the Reaper. That's actually not... Let's just kill it with the Fiend Fire. All right. Okay, we got a Weakness Potion, which I already have, and no need. Let's take Sentinel. Yeah, I exhausted a lot of cards, so Sentinel would possibly either give me block or exhaust things. Upgrade all strikes and defense. I don't have any, right? Do I need to remove something? I mean, even Berserk is something I'll play. So I don't think there's anything I really don't need. 
maybe the demon form but again that i'll play that actually no in with the runic pyramid demon form is sort of dead weight so let's remove that okay i hope i'll get the overkill modifier some other way all right 21 i think here what i'll do is i'll upgrade the corruption play that and then sentinel gives me well i don't really need energy right uh here let's do infernal blade that's drop kick shock wave double tap the drop kick okay Right, unfortunately there's a feed that i can't really play uh let's do sentinel will give me energy and block and then i can do you know what let's play the feed and i can try to exhume it all right another 15 unfortunately i don't have any strength here or any block let's see if i can get the impervious i can let's do feel no pain impervious and then i'll play the barricade true grit the fiend fire and then i think i can do berserk not that I really needed it, but... Oh, this will kill. Okay, let's not do that. I'll wait for the exhume so I can play a feed too. All right, exhume the feed. All right. And then 21. I need a little bit extra. Here, let's do Juggernaut and then feed. All right. Okay, Shrug it off is a great card. Let's take it. Iron Wave would have been fine too. I decided to go far right, right? That gives me four more question mark rooms. Yeah, that's the best path, I think. Okay. Um, first curse, it'll be very difficult to go for the curse modifier, but I think I should be fine. Let's take it. We got Duvidol. For each curse you next start, you come with one strength. All right. And then here, feel no pain upgrade seems very relevant. Let's do that. And then Fiend Fire, I think, should come next, especially because I have the Runic Pyramid. All right, bird again. Let's do, I think I can do Shrug it off with Juggernaut, right? Yeah, let's do Juggernaut, Shrug it off. All right. And then I can upgrade the Infernal Blade or double tap. Let's upgrade the Infernal Blade. All right, and then I can double tap the Sever Soul. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, another 12. Uh, let's do Corruption Sentinel. Gives me energy black and gives me some block. Uh, energy back and gives me some block. I can do Limit Break. Unfortunately, I'm still going to take some damage. Let's take the Shrug it off back. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a feed, which will kill this one. Do I have an Exhume still? Yeah, I haven't drawn it yet. So if I do... Tr uh, here, let's just Shrug it off. And then Fiendfire would kill, so let's True Grit the Barricade. And then next turn, I'm hoping to Exhume the feed. Uh, nope, I guess I'll do Impervious instead. And then turn after, I'll Exhume the feed. Yeah, there it is. Exhume the feed. And then kill with the feed here. Good. Another 32 max HP. Iron Wave for Clash. Let's take the Iron Wave here. So I guess I was really hoping to get one of the events that removes most of your max HP. So now that I haven't gotten them, those two events only happened before on the first part of Act 3. Uh, Act 2, sorry. So now that it hasn't happened, I think I'll just um, ignore feed anymore because I, I really don't need it. All right, so a lot of incoming here. I have a lot of potions too. Mm. So Bludgeon does 34 damage. Let's start with Brutality. I don't think I can do Berserk. 37. Let's see what the Attack Potion gives me. Emulate. Emulate is pretty good. I don't think it will save me, though. So the problem is... Well, I do have a Fire Potion, too. I just don't have any block. That's the biggest problem. Do I have anything that exhausts here? No, but Pommel Strike might give me a card draw. Like, Offering is the only thing I really need at right now. Emulate is a lot of damage, though. I just... The problem is card draw, right? I have a Pommel Strike already, so I think I'm going to avoid the Bludgeon. Let's take the Emulate now. Then play the Pommel Strike. Okay. Yeah, no, there's nothing I can do, right? So Emulate will deal another, what, five more? So that's not going to be enough. If I could only double tap something. Um, So I guess I can do... On. So, wait, what did I say? It's going to be 20% uh, is uh, 4, 5, right? So 28, another 20 is 48. So almost enough to kill the backliner. So I think if I headbutt somebody like you, I still don't think there's any way for me to kill all three. Yeah, so I think the best thing I can do is to do something like feel no pain, headbutt, and then emulate. Oh, wow, how did I miscalculate that? Oh, right, I, I wanted to fire push for the backliner, but... No, ultimately, even if I kill the backliner, there's no way to kill the others. 
So fine, I'll accept the damage, and then I'll keep the Fire Potion for a fight where I can actually perfect. Just got a little unlucky on my turn one draw. Yeah, I needed Impervious, I need Sentinel, or Offering, anything like that would have been enough. But I didn't get that, so fine. Uh, let's actually kill with Bludgeon. And then I know I'm not going to use... I know I said I am not. I don't need Feed, but... I mean, if I have the choice to kill with it, might as well, right? So let's do Feed. And then Sentinel. Like, I'll see if I can exhume the Feed. If not, I can just... Um, oh, actually, I can do something like upgrade the Reaper and get some HP back. Good. Mm -hmm. And then here I can kill with the Palm Strike. All right. We got Bottle Lightning. Before I take that, let's take the Skill Potion, Sever Soul Combust. Um, I, Sever Soul is fine. And then Bottle Lightning on Pickup, choose a Skill Search, come with this card in your hand. That should be the offering. And if I had that in the previous fight, I would have been able to perfect, I'm pretty sure. Question card, Future Card Awards, have one additional card to choose from. Okay. And then Cultist and Chosen One. I could just do Fiendfire here, right? Let's do Offering here. Brutality, Offering. Mm -hmm. And then Fiendfire is a lot of damage. Uh, let's do Corruption. And then the Fiendfire. Alright. Okay. Uh, six incoming. I can kill the backliner with a feed. Then Shockwave Sentinel. Play the Bludgeon. And that's enough to kill. Good. Okay. True Grid Disarm a Rampage. I already have a Disarm. A uh, True Grid, I mean. Let's take a Disarm. And then definitely not losing all my gold to this fight. So, yeah. Emulate is pretty good. Let's do... Well, I mean, I might play the Offering. Okay. And then Feel No Pain, Infernal Blade. Beanfire is great. Let's do Emulate. Alright, and then... Um, hmm. I, I mean, it seems like a waste to play a Fiendfire, but you know what? Fine. Alright. Just need a little bit of damage here. I can play the Feed, actually. Good. Okay, I got a red mask at the Starvage Combat to play one weak to all enemies. An ancient push which I don't think I'll take. And ghostly armor, another good defensive card. Okay. That's Centurion and Mystic. I I wonder if I can get the Overkill modifier here. No, I I guess I can I think I can get the Overkill modifier on the next act. Alright, let's do corruption. Upgrade the um shockwave. Play that. Get rid of the sentinel to gain energy so I can play emulate and bludgeon. Let me get rid of the shame as well. Actually, hang on, 86 damage. Can I play um, another offering? Right. Oh, I should have counted. Well, hang on. Can I play more than... No, I don't think I can play enough cards here. So let's do Limit Break. Imp uh, Feel No Pain, Impervious, Juggernaut. All right. And then Bludgeon does 124. All right, cool. Oh, I miscalculated. I thought I can play the Emulate as well. All right, fine. All right, seven incoming. I can actually just play Fiendfire for a kill. Alright, got the Overkill modifier, we've got a Power Potion, which I probably take over, who's my boss here? Collector, yeah, let's take it over the Fire Potion. Body Slam, Burning Pack, Don't Frame Blade, sometimes I have a lot of block with Body Slam, but no, let's th take the Burning Pack. Okay. Oh, wait, I thought you can only get this event on the first ha half of Act 3. Alright, never mind, let's take it, and now this means I have to continue to use feeds as much as I can. All right, yeah, this is an ex example of where I can use the feed. Uh, let's do Brutality Offering. Okay. I'll do Berserk. All right, then um, let's do Barricade and True Grid. Okay, and then I'll do Iron Wave. All right. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of incoming. Luckily, I have the Apparition here. Let's do Shockwave. And then Burning Pack the Sentinel, so I'll get extra energy. Can I use the Feed here? 21. No, not quite. Let me do Pommel Strike, and then Feed. Okay. And I can also do Infernal Blade to play a Reckless Charge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 20. There's another Apparition, luckily. And um, I could do Juggernaut, although... Yeah, I guess it's not going to hurt. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. I have to be careful, though. Every time I exhaust a card, I, I kill accidentally. Uh, since I have the barricade, I'm going to play the Impervious. I can't do the Feed Fire. So let's just do Emulate. All right. And then I'm just waiting for the Exhume now. Okay. All right, another 20. Let's do another Apparition. I'll play the Corruption. I should have done that first. Then Limit Break. Armaments. I don't know. The Bludgeon, sure. 
then shrug it off. Oh, I forgot I was going to kill with the... Yeah, fine. Got a fire potion. I don't think I'll take. And second win is pretty good. Let's do that. All right. And then next... I don't think... Should I upgrade the apparitions? No, let's upgrade the disarm first. Yeah. I'm hoping I can kill faster than... Well, yeah, let's see what happens. All right. So I have two apparitions that I'm going to lose if I don't play them. Which is a bummer. I will do Berserk and I think I'll play the apparitions then. All right. So barricade seems tempting. Let's do that. Let's also do Juggernaut, okay, and then I'll play the Apparitions, all right. Okay, so here I think I should do Corruption, let's do that, and then I can upgrade something, what should that be? The Infernal Blade, maybe? No, let's see what the Infernal Blade gives me, Searing, but all right, that's not that great. I guess I'll update the Double Tap then, okay. Then do apparition. I will play the searing blow now because I don't want to. I don't really need it in my hand. All right, and then I can headbutt something back. Let's headbutt. Oh, I really don't want searing blow. Okay, well I guess I have to know. All right, fine. I could have headbutted the curse and get rid of it with the second wind. That was definitely an option. All right, another apparition. I can do limit break. Sure. And then let me get rid of the searing blow. I really don't need it. All right, play the... Actually, feel no pain first, and Sentinel Ghostly Armor. Okay. And then I'll do Impervious. I can double tap things, right? So let me double tap the Reaper. All right. A lot of damage. That's good. And then I can double tap the Feed. Obviously, won't be able to use it, but still fine. And I can do Sever Soul. Probably should have double tapped the Sever Soul, huh? Yeah, that might have been better. All right. I still have the... Um, yeah, Exhum. Good. So I can theoretically steal Feed. Let's play the Disarm, Shockwave... Apparition, and then Emulate, does a lot of damage, and then Iron Wave. Wait, I still have Juggernaut, right? So let me be careful. I think I'll just exhume the feed and kill that way. All right, yeah, so exhume the feed, which is here, and then feed to kill. Awesome. All right. Okay, back to the max HP I started with, and I have one more act to get another 30. Exhume, double tap, demon form, I can't take... Well, I could take demon form, but no, let's skip this. And then curse key, I mean, I only have one curse, but it is possible to get more. So let's take the curse key, gain energy at the start of your turn, you, whenever you open a non-boss chest to obtain a curse. Okay. All right, Dono Deco, hoping for more than one elite this time. Okay, at least there's two. For a second, I was going to say the first time I only fought three elites in a non-certain um, future run. But yeah, no, there is there is one path with two elites. Unfortunately, actually, no, that, that path has four question mark rooms, which is not too bad. Also a mid-level shop, which is fine. All right, starting off with the Darklings. Let's do Corruption. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Corruption, then upgrade the Apparition so I don't lose it. And then I don't even need to play the Sentinel here. Let's keep the Offering for another turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, 21. Yeah, so Feel No Pain is great. Let's do Feel No Pain, then Sentinel to gain Energy Barricade. Play the Apparitions. I don't think I'll do the Juggernaut. Actually, let me keep the other Apparition. And then I try to exhume something. It's going to be hard to use the Feed. I don't think I'll exhume the uh I'll exhume it though. Yeah, let's do Berserk here. And then I'll do another apparition. Pommel strike to see what I get. Sever Soul. Yeah, second wind and sever soul are both gonna exhaust too many things that I would like to avoid exhausting. Let me actually get rid of the juggernaut, because I really am gonna try to avoid playing that. I'm trying to think. No, no, let's let's save this. Okay. Hmm. All right, I am looking for the emulate, right? I haven't gotten that yet. Let's do Shockwave Impervious, another Apparition. Okay. And then Pommel Strike, another Apparition, and Iron Wave. Okay. Making sure I only have three cards in my hand, or five cards in my hand so I can draw a full hand. There's the emulate. Yeah, let's do that first. And then I can feed. Yeah, perfect. All right, we got an energy push, which I don't think I'll need. Spot weakness is interesting. Sword boomerang flex, maybe less so. I think I'll go with the spot weakness, sure. Okay. All right, awesome. Got some free gold here. Good. And then not going for collector bonuses, right? 
Yeah, so I only have one cursor right now. I mean, I should take this just so I can buy a bunch of stuff at the next shop. And I can remove one of the normalities at the next shop. I should definitely do that. All right. So here, let's do brutality offering. And then get rid of the normality with the true grit. So I can keep playing something like feel no pain. Um, should I do fiend fire here? I would lose the exhume, but this would deal a lot of damage. 15 times 6, right? So that's... Oh, that's exactly enough to kill. I don't want that. So maybe instead I'll do Iron Wave. And then Fiendfire is 16 times 5, which is 80. That's still too much. Oh boy. Um, how about if I do Apparition? This is 17 times 4, which is 68. That is not enough to kill. Good. All right. And basically here I'm hoping for a feed. There it is. Awesome. Okay. All right, Twin Strike, Wall Strike, Flame Barrier. Definitely the Flame Barrier. That's a solid defensive card. And then let me first remove the one of the normalities. Okay. And then I have enough gold to basically afford everything. Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. Pocket Watch, whenever you play three or less cards, you can turn draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn. And I am actually considering Prismatic Shard. Combat reward screens cannot contain colorless cards and cards from other colors. Mostly because I am going for the Highlander modifier, right? So I wouldn't mind having some more variety. So let's take it. In terms of cards, I already have this one. Dark Embrace would be great. Panacea, maybe not so much. In terms of potions, Essence of Steel is pretty... Actually, let me get rid of this and this. Let's take the Essence of Steel and the Swift Potion. And then here, let's take Humikinesis and Uppercut. I don't think I need Panacea. I don't think I need Chrysalis. Yeah, let's just move on. Okay. Alright, next upgrade should be... I'm trying to think if I should upgrade the Apparitions. No, let's upgrade something like Dark Embrace first. Okay. All right, Dark Embrace should allow me to get the combo modifier as well, and I have Overkill already. Alright, so let's do Brutality Offering. And um, Dark Embrace. Yep, let's play that. Oh, but now, unfortunately, I might draw... Here, let's do the Apparition. Actually, I'll do Armaments first. I might draw a Normality now that I have Dark Embrace. Um, which would be a problem. So let me play the Apparition first. And that way, if I draw the Normality, I should be fine. Alright, let's do Spot Weakness. I can... Um, well, I could do Reaper. Not that I need the heal, but it would deal AoE damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's do Reaper. And then I'll play... Well, it's fine. I'll lose the Ghostly Armor. There's no difference between playing it and letting the Exhaust. All right, so emulate is great here. Let me first do the uppercut for weakness. Wait, no, I need an... Uh, wait, hang on. Let's do emulate first, because I might have to play the second wind. Let's do that. That'll give me... Actually, I'll do true grid first. All right. Then second... Oh, apparition is better. Let's do apparition. And then I still think I should do second wind. Yeah, let's do that. All right, I got Shockwave, get rid of the Shame. And then I can't do... Wait, if I do Sentinel, I can do the Barricade. Perfect. And then I'll do Limit Break as well. And then Feed is 74 damage. Let's do Uppercut. And then I think I should be here. I can do Berserk as well. I think I should be able to Feed on the next turn. All right. Okay, so Feed is uh, 29. I need to play a little bit extra. Bludgeon would kill the right... No, I can do Bludgeon and then Feed. Good. Okay, got Turn with Toy Ornithopter. One of you use a potion, heal 5 HP. Outmaneuver. I mean, it's not bad. Better than the other two cards. Let's take it. Okay. And then here, I have to lose one of these, and I hate losing any, but I'm okay losing the spot weakness more so than I'm okay uh, than I want to lose the others. Got a regret curse. Okay, so I have four unique curses right now, right? Normality, regret, shame. Oh, never mind. Just three. Okay. Got Strawberry up and pick up Racer, make sure we buy 7, that's good. And then have to go on the right. Got to Transient. I'm not sure if I should spend a lot of time here. Um, Yeah, let's do Bludgeon. I guess, I don't think I need Brutality. Let's do Disarm as well. Okay. Alright, yeah, I think the Apparition should be fine. I can do Apparition, get rid of the Burning pa uh, the Normality, sorry. And then... um. I can do something like shrug it off and, um, well, okay, I'm going to do second wind because I want to get rid of the 
yeah, let's get rid of the regret. I should have considered playing the burn the um what do you call it? The Berserk. Yeah, that might have been a, not a bad idea. Alright. So here I'm just hoping to get all the apparitions soon. Alright, perfect. And then I'll do Ghostly Armor for a little bit of block. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I am fully defended, so I just... Oh, I should have done Field of Pain first. That would have allowed me to be fully defended, but this works as well. And then next turn I can just do this and be fully defended. Good. Alright. Escape plan, bowling bash, or cold slam. Escape plan is card draw. Let's take it. And then here I'll upgrade. Should I upgrade the armaments now that I have the uh, runic pyramid? Yeah, let's do that. And then I think I should upgrade one apparition just in case. All right, Shine Head. Already have the overkill. Let's try to go for combo with Dark Embrace. So I think I'll do Feel No Pain, Dark Embrace, Brutality, and Offering. The only problem is the normality, which I might draw at an inopportune moment. Let's do Corruption. I'll upgrade... Let's do Shockwave. I'll upgrade everything with the armaments. Alright. Then I can do Limit Break. Alright, well, obviously I can't play as many cards as I would like. But I can deal a lot of damage with the Bludgeon. Let's do that. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I'm basically hoping to exhaust the Normality before I go crazy with and try to go for Combo. Fiend fire would be a lot of damage, but no, let's avoid that. Instead, I think I'll just do Hemokinesis. Um, get rid of, well, I think it, oh, using the feed will be very difficult. I think I'll do Uppercut then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, 9 incoming. Yeah, I think here I have to do an Apparition. I can do Berserk. Let's see what the Pummel Strike gives me. Disarm is good, and then... Oh, there's the normality. All right, so then next turn I'll do I'll get rid of it with the second wind, and I'll try to play a bunch of cards. All right, so let's do apparition one, then apparition two, then do the second wind. Okay, gives me a lot of card draw and energy. All right, let's see if I can play enough cards here. All right, so another apparition. I can exhume something. Let's do out maneuver first, then ghostly armor. Barricade is pretty good. I should play that. Then let me do escape plan. I don't think I need Reaper, so let's True Grit the Reaper. Okay. And then Impervious is great. Shrug it off. All right. So now the Bludgeon. I think I should try to kill with it. Let's do Hemokinesis first. Oh, I don't have extra energy, though. That might be a problem. How much is the Fiendfire, by the way? Oof. Yeah, Fiendfire would kill. I would like to play three more cards, though, so let's try that. Let's do Infernal Blade. Iron Wave. Then, um, Headbutt, I think that's, well, I'm not sure, that's the Iron Wave that was Headbutted, right? Let me Burning Pack the Sever Soul, okay? Then, um, wait, I can't exhaust anything else? Oh, right, all right, that's fine, I guess. Um, I can exhume the Offering? Yeah, let's exhume the Offering for extra energy. Although, let me play, yeah, let's do another Iron Wave. Then exhume the Offering, uh, which is up here. Right, 17, oh, I'm almost there, 18, 19, and then um, just to be safe, let me play, actually, can I kill with the feed? I can, awesome, all right, let's do, actually, anything kills here, right, fine, let's just kill with the feed and play 20 cards that way, awesome, that was 20 cards, right, yes, I'm pretty sure that was 20 cards, got old coin up, pick up, gain 300 gold, as well as a fire push, which I don't think I'll need, and then reaper, reach heaven, or blind, reach heaven is fine, yeah, let's take it. All right, and then here I can get curse number four. Unfortunately, there's no way to get curse number five, right? Unless the next event is the writhing mass, which would be hilarious. But I mean, there's nothing I can lose from by doing this, right? Let's do it. Also it gives me extra strength with the Duvidal. And no, didn't get the writhing mass, so got close, but wasn't able to get the uh, combo modifier. Uh, not the combo, the, uh, the curses modifier. Sorry. Let's do brutality here. Apparitions. I mean, I'm gonna lose it anyway. Then offering. Okay. Corruption is good. I can do Sentinel for energy. Then Shockwave, Limit Break, Shrug it off. Okay. And then I will try to kill with feeds. Let's do an uppercut here. I don't think I'll do Juggernaut. Let's just wait. Okay. I can use feed twice here, right? With the, uh, with the, what do you call it? Uh, I keep forgetting the name. Exhume. With the Exhume, I can play twice. All right. Let's do Flame Barrier here. 
Uh, actually, let me get rid of the Wraith first. Alright, Feel No Pain is great. I can do Pummel Strike. Uh, wait, I also need to defend. So let me True Grid the um, base, sure. And then I can do Hemokinesis. Now that will kill. I do want to get rid of cards in my hand. Let's do... Uh, Clothesline will kill as well, right? Oh, man. No, okay, fine. I, I guess I'll... I just won't play anything here. I should have played the Juggernaut. That might have been better. All right. Here I can upgrade everything, do the Apparition, Outmaneuver, and then... Still would kill. Yeah, let's just wait. All right. I need to get to 110, so I have to use feet twice here, and then uh, one more time in the next in the elite fight, in the boss fight. Sorry, actually no, no, just using it twice here would be enough. That we don't have to rely on having to use it in the boss fight, which I think is better. Uh, I am taking a bunch of here. Let's do iron wave. That's not gonna kill, just barely. And then should I just do second? You know what? Let's do second wind. That way I'll get a bunch of block. All right, and free up my hand. I keep getting the days. That's why it's taking me so long to draw what I need. All right, there's feed one. Um, actually, hang on. Let's do apparition, ghostly armor, then dark embrace. Okay, feed one is twenty eight. That's not enough. Actually, it'll kill the back right? All right, all right. And then yeah, here I'll wait. And I just need to wait for the exhum. Okay, I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. I completely missed the fact that I had accidentally uh, exhausted the exhum. Which is a bummer, but yeah, fine. Uh, so I can just do Reaper and Sever Soul to kill. So that does mean I have to use the feed one more time against one of the bosses to get enough max HP. Got a Flex Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Leap is a solid defensive card. Let's take that. All right. And then here, I wonder if I should upgrade the Barricade to make it a little easier. No, no, I wanted to upgrade at least one of the Apparitions so I can have it on hand. Okay. All right, so don't know in deck, huh? 20 incoming, and I do have the offering at the beginning, right? Let's do Essence of Steel. Let me see what the... Actually, no, let's do Offering first. So I'll do Feel No Pain Offering, just in case I draw the Normality. I didn't, luckily. So let's do the Brutality, then see what the Power Potion gives me. Dark Embrace, Combust, Evolve. I already have Combo, so I don't think I need Dark Embrace. Combust might be better here. Let's take the Combust. Okay. And then, wait, I need to defend here, and I might have trouble. So, uh-oh. If I draw the... No, actually, if I do Uppercut, that guarantees that even if I draw the Normality here, I should be fine. Yeah, luckily I, I didn't. So then let's do... Let me do Juggernaut. And then Escape Plan. Oh, I definitely want to play the Corruption. Oh, but then next turn I might have trouble defending. So let me... I need to use the Feed too, right? Let's do Infernal Blade. Oh, Fiendfire. I can't do Fiendfire. I need to play the Corruption. Let me do the feed, and then I can just exhume it. I can try to exhume it. Actually, if I do Berserk, I think I should be fine, right? Because then I... Well, I'll be vulnerable next turn, too, which would be annoying. Yeah, let's just use the feed here. Okay. A little risky, because I might have trouble defending next turn. Yeah, 26. Oh, boy. Is there something I can do here? I mean, I can try to draw something. What would I need to draw, though? Let's do Corruption. Then Disarm. And then... Oh, I have Feel No Pain. So if I do the Fiend Fire, if I had done the Fiend Fire, I would have been able to... All right, let's do Shockwave. Then Double Tap. So that's 16. Okay, I am fully defended. And then actually, I can do Iron Wave. Um, or should I keep it for next turn when I have the Barricade active? Or when I can't play the Barricade? No, let's do Iron Wave now. All right. Okay. Uh, next turn is going to be rough too. But I have the Fiend Fire. All right, 18. Or I have the Apparitions. That works too. All right, in that case, let's do Barricade. Then do the Apparitions, 1 and 2. Okay. And then, yeah, I can do Limit Break. And uh, actually, I can do Berserk because I have the Apparitions. Let's also do Leap because I have the Barricade active. All right, I think now I should be fine. 45 minutes. Just missed the 45-minute mark. That's a bummer. All right, there's the normality. Can I get rid of it? Yeah, let's get rid of it with, with, with the true grid. And then I could do fiend fire, right? Let me upgrade everything. Do I need to upgrade everything? Yeah, it's not going to hurt. Let's do upgrade. And then actually, let's do reach heaven first and then do fiend fire. Okay. All right, one down. 
Oh, I have to be careful with the Juggernaut, because I need to kill with the feet, actually. Alright, so let's do Dark Embrace Impervious. Exhume the feed. So I have it in my hand. And then uh, 22 through violence. Actually, I think I can kill this turn, right? Feed is 22 still. If I do Sentinel... Yeah, I can kill with feed. Awesome. All right. I fed on Deka, though, not on Dano, uh, on Dono. So, yeah. Wouldn't have been able to get the uh, extra achievement. 1,200 exactly. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's see. So, out of the four boss, I perfected three. Got Beyond Perfect, Overkill combo. So, I am glad I got combo in the end. Only... Wait, what? Oh! I got the apparitions. That was so dumb. I completely forgot about the fact that I was going for Highlander. All right, well, I mean, I'm not sure if going for the apparitions would have, if not having the apparitions would have made a difference. I think I still would have been able to perfect everything. That's such a bummer. I just completely, yeah, for some reason, I didn't connect the fact that getting a bunch of apparitions would have not allowed me to get the Highland modifier. Ah, now I'm bummed, because I thought it was a pretty good run otherwise. So if I hadn't done the apparitions, I mean, I still got the stuff modifier, so that wasn't the problem. But if I hadn't gotten the apparitions, I probably would have gotten exactly 75 points more, right? 100 points from Highlander. Wow. Very dumb. All right, fine. So 1275 would have been pretty doable. I'm pretty sure I could have perfected everything still uh, while still going for Highlander. Or while not having the apparitions. Ah, oh, I can't believe this. All right. Well, surprisingly, people did much better, too. Because I thought I sort of exhausted all the possibilities. So I wonder if going for more collective bonuses was possible. But ultimately, yeah, 1275, 35th is what I should have been able to get and i instead landed in uh 17th place oh uh, that's i'm a little bummed about that uh steven only three points behind me and then i'm gonna go backwards uh super nintendo 1225 so maybe was able to perfect that last um elite that i missed merim gaming 1277 that's probably going for highlander monkey bone similarly zombie panda and vorpal got an extra 25 points on top of what i tried to go i wonder if curses was possible because I, I had four curses exactly yeah, so maybe having a fifth curse plus going for Highlander would have allowed somebody to get 1375. Still, I'm very surprised. Let me know in the comments what you did for to get anything beyond the 1275 or even the 13. I can sort of see 1300 with Pelts, Vorpal, and Zombie. Just because I missed one elite, I got overkill combo, and I missed the Highlander modifier for a combo modifier. Uh, for a collective bonus, I mean. So, so 1300 would have been possible with my run, but anything beyond that. So George got an extra 25 points. I'm curious. Oh, actually playing faster. That would have been another 25 points. All right. So so everything up until 1327 makes sense. Everything above that doesn't make sense. Let me know in the comments if there's something else I missed or if, if curses was possible ultimately. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.